Hello students, I am Jahara from Kids International School. Today I am going to do the poem Grandma Climbs a Tree. And this poem is written by a skin bond. So Raskin Bond, he was uh, born in uh, Kasauli in 1934 and uh, now he lives in Masuri and his first novel was The Room on the Roof and when he was 17 years old he has written nearly 30 books for children and um, this grandma climbs the tree, it shows the ability, uh, extra talent uh, of his grandmother and uh, his autobiography is scenes from a writer's life which talks about his uh, the, about Kolkata granny who was uh, very strong and who was uh, always uh, sit, uh, she was always sitting alone and playing cards with the patients she was sitting alone and she was playing cards so it is the, it is mentioned in his autobiography and uh, here this poem Grandma climbs the tree here, the skin bond, he, he says what uh, about the extra talent, about the exceptional uh, talent of his grandma. First I will read this poem. My grandmother was a genius, you would like to know why, because she could climb trees spreading or high. She would be there up there branches in a trice and mind you, when last she climbed a tree, she was 62. Ever since childhood, she would have this gift for being higher, happier in a tree than in a lift. And though as years went by, she would be told the climbing trees should stop when one grew old and that growing old should be gone about gracefully. She would laugh and say, well, I will grow disgracefully. I can do it better and we had to agree for in all the garden there wasn't a tree she hadn't been up at one time or another having learned to climb from a loving brother when she was six but it was feared by all that one day she would have a terrible fall the outcome was different while we were in town she climbed a tree and couldn't come down after the rescue the doctor took granny's temperature and said i strongly recommend a quiet week in bed we sighed with relief and tucked her up well. Poor granny, for her, it was like a brief season in hell. Confined to her bedroom, while every breeze whispered of summer and dancing leaves. But she had held her peace till she felt stronger. Then she sat up and said, I will lie here no longer. And she called for my father and told him undaunted that her house in a treetop was what she now wanted. My dad knew his duties. He said, that's all right. You will have what you want, dear. I will start work tonight. With my expert assistance, he soon finished the chore, made her a tree house with windows and a door. So granny moved up and now every day I climb to her room with glasses and tray. She sits there in state and drink sherry with me, upholding her right to reside in a tree. So this is the poem and now I will explain the poem line by line. My grandmother was genius, you would like to know why. So here poet Ruskin Bond, he is saying that, he is asking us, do you know, my grandmother was a genius, you would like to know why. He is saying that his grandmother was genius and he is saying that he is asking the question do you, do, do you like to know why do you know why my grandmother was genius so genius means and exceptionally Intelligent person, intelligent or talented. Person. Okay. So 
homogeneous means exceptionally intelligent or talented or talented person for that kind of person we call as genius and here ruskin born he is saying that his grandma was very talented exceptionally she had an extraordinary talent he is saying and he is asking us do you know why i am saying my grandmother was genius because she could climb trees spreading her high because her grandmother his grandmother can climb the trees so you know, you might have saw your grandmother also having so many talents like uh, craft like some craft works they know they know very good uh, uh, cooking talents they have they know how to uh, what do some embroidery craft works and all but here i think uh, you your grandmothers doesn't have such kind of talent like uh, climbing the tree and all but here ruskin bonds grandmother she had an extraordinary talent that is climbing the tree so if people might get surprised how can a grandma climb the tree so let us see here how so hand she could climb the trees spreading or high so it is spreading or high she could climb the tree the tree the tree may be y tree that is spread that just like mango tree and banyan trees like that and or high high trees like coconut trees or coconut trees like that so spreading or height in any kind of tree she is have she have a capacity of climbing such kind of trees she would be up their branches in a trice and mind you so she would up she would be up their branches in trice so means so in trice in trice means quickly very very quickly she would be up their branches in a trice here branches in a trice in a trice it is a phrase and it means very quickly very fast very quickly within a fraction of a second she would can climb any kind of tree and mind you and he is saying that listen now listen to this carefully he is saying raskin born he is saying that and mind you listen to me carefully when last she climbed a tree she was 62 and when last the last tree when she climbed the tree last time what was grand her his grandma's age it was just 62 her age was 62 means she was old so when she climbed the tree she was 62 years of old ever since childhood she would had this gift and from when she is climbing the trees she is climbing the trees when she was child when she was a small girl from that day onwards she was climbing the tree and this is a kind of a gift what she had got okay she had this gift since her since her childhood she had this gift for being happier in a tree than in a leaf she likes to be happy in a tree she likes to climb the tree she feels very happy to climb the tree than in a leaf so nowadays what we people do we we people don't like to or uh, even climb the stair cases because we get tired right so uh, but we love to go in a lift because we will stand there and easily we can go to any floors right so uh, but here grandmother she don't like to go move in a lift means she like to climb the tree she loves to she feels very happy to climb the tree than in a lift she do not like to move in a lift but she likes to climb the tree and though as years went by she would be told that climbing trees should stop when one grew old and when she was small and she was uh, growing up and as the years went on she was uh, her elders were saying her neighbors were saying that climbing tree should stop one grow grew old so when a person grew old when a person grows older that time one should stop climbing the tree why why did the grandma should stop climbing the tree and that growing old should be gone about gracefully and the elders their her neighbors and family members they were saying that that growing old should be gone about gracefully so one should grow when one keep on growing older when you are growing older so they should they should grow gracefully that means respectfully because in our society girls 
as they go older they should leave all their childish activities according to the society they should leave all such kind of things and they should um, what do those things which earns respect for them for them and their parents and then for their family and then and for their society right so that is why the neighbors family members friends everyone will saying that when one starts growing older they should go they growing up okay their days should go gracefully means they should respectfully they should grow up respectfully now because she is not a child now she would for that what grandma was saying she would laugh and say when she was listening such kind of words when she was listening her parents saying her neighbors her elders saying that one should grow disgracefully she should stop uh, uh, what climbing the trees and uh, she should be now she belongs to a respectful family a respectable family and she should uh, you know, what uh, behave very respectably so for that what she was doing she used to laugh she used to laugh at the words of the people and her family members and she would say well i will grow disgracefully and she should and she would say well i will grow disgracefully no i will grow like this only without respect i know i don't want i will grow like this only because she feels very happy to climb the tree she can't live without that right she could not live without that and she would say so say that i will grow how i am growing i will grow like that totally i will grow disgracefully itself she would say like that so gracefully means a respect respectfully okay i can do it better and we had to agree and she was saying that i can do it better as she was growing up and as she was as she was growing up she was keep on climbing the trees and she got a good practice in that climbing the tree and she was saying that i can do it better now from first what i was climbing the tree in the beginning now more than that i can do it better still more good i have got the good skills in climbing the tree i can do it better she would say and we had to agree and there was no uh, way for the people for the uh, family members instead of agreeing because they were also knowing that she had got a good skill in climbing the tree for in all the garden there was not a tree because they have to agree for in all the garden there was not a tree she had not been up at one time or another so in a garden not a single tree has left okay all trees she have climbed and not a single tree had left in her, in their garden that she had not climbed one or two times she had climbed each and every tree whatever tree they had in their garden she had climbed each and every tree more than one or two times okay so by that people they had to agree that when she said that she is better in climbing the tree she had increased the skill of climbing the tree they had to agree because she had not left a single tree in, the, in her garden in their garden there was not a single tree that grandma had had not climbed she had climbed the tree two or three times more than two or three times having learned to climb from a loving brother when she was six so from where she learned to climb the tree her brother when she was of age 6 when she was 6 years of age when she was 6 years of age she had learned to climb the tree from her brother her brother had taught to climb the tree when she was just 6 years old but it was feared by all that one day she would have a terrible fall but everyone was fearing each and every one in their home they had a fear that one day or the other something bad will happen that is something she will fall down a terrible fall a bad badly she will fall down terrible means very badly okay very badly she will fall down one day or the other they had fear 
people of their family her family had a fear that one day or the other day she will fall down because now she is growing older she is getting uh, older now so that is why one one day they had a fear that now one day or the another she will fall down because as we grow on as the time passes as we go on what will happen our strength weakens right we will become weak that is why uh, they had a fear that she will fall down the outcome was different while we were in town she climbed a tree and could not come down so but what they had thought everything it didn't happen like that but what happened the outcome so the climbing the tree okay that outcome that we have was different while we were in town when they had gone to town when the family members were there in town she climbed the tree and could not come down and this grandma she climbed the tree but she was not able to get down from the tree because she was not able to get down she had become weak and she was not able to get down from the tree after the rescue so anyhow family members they brought her down from the tree they rescued her they brought her down from the tree so here outcome means what happened actually outcome so outcome means what happened what actually okay the outcome was different so what happened she was not able to come down from the tree and afterwards the family members they anyhow helped her to they brought her down from the tree they rescued her okay they saved her rescue we saved her saved rescued her they brought her down from the tree and they called the doctor the doctor took granny's temperature and said so the doctor they called the doctor they called the doctor came and she just checked out he checked the doctor the doctor checked granny's temperature and he said i strongly recommend a quiet weekend right so the doctor what he recommended he recommended a quiet week in bed a week of rest bed rest he recommended a bed rest for a week we signed with relief and tucked her up well so how they signed relief they took a great breath deep breath a relief a breath of relief because nothing much happened for granny so they got satisfied and in that relief they were relieved and they tucked her up well they tucked her up well means they looked after her tucked her up well means they looked after granny very well poor granny for her it was like a brief season with her but for poor granny for her it was like a brief season in her it was just like a a brief season as though she is staying there for years together she felt like that as she felt that as though she is in hell because she had got the habit of climbing the tree and she was feeling very happy to climb the tree and for granny it was just like a brief season in hell she was feeling that as though she is in a hell okay she was not at all happy being in a room in bed rest she was not at all happy she was confined to her bed okay confined to her bedroom is she was isolated okay just like what uh, in this uh, situation in this corona what we, it has affected we have been quarantined right we are staying in home we are not going outside so we are just it is very bad the situation is bad in the same manner even this granny she felt like that being in room so why because she was climbing the tree every day one or twice as she once or twice she was climbing climbing the tree she was like to be in a tree but now what happened she can't climb the tree doctor has recommended a week of bed rest so she wanted to be stay in 
room she wanted to be i say she was isolated means she had to stay in room itself she was not able to come outside they were not allowing to come outside and she was very weak also she had become very weak so she was feeling as though she is in a hell by every breeze confined to her bedroom by every breeze whispered of summer and dancing leaves so in her bedroom what happening from her bedroom she was able to see that breeze that every breeze from that window okay uh, we can uh, we can say that there was a uh, in a bedroom in her bedroom there was window and from that window she used to uh, see that breeze she used to feel that breeze and that breeze what this breeze was doing it was whispering okay whispered of summer and dancing leaves so the breeze it was coming and whispering it was making sound the cool breeze it was coming and making the sound it was whispering it was talking and dancing leaves so the, the leaves were dancing okay the leaves were dancing and she was missing all these things she was so that is why she was feeling that she was in a hell but she had held her peace till she felt strong but she held so she held means she kept quiet so held her peace means she kept quiet till she felt strong till she felt that she had become strong till that day she kept quiet she didn't talk a single word she did not uh, say a single word so she kept quiet then she sat up and said i will lie here no longer then one day what she did when she felt that she is strong enough so what she did she sat up and she said that now i am not at all going to be in this bed i will not stay here any longer now i will not at all stay here she said and she called for my father and told him undaunted so undaunted means without hesitation Undaunted means without hesitation. So, what Granny did? She sat up and she said that now I'm not at all going to stay here in this room. She said and she called for my father. So my father here referred to poet's father, the skin bond's father. So she called. That is grandma's son. So she called for my father and told him undaunted, without any hesitation. Okay, she told the Raskin Bond's father, that is her son, that uh, that their house in the tree top was what she now wanted, and she said that what she wanted now, she wanted tree top house. So she wanted the house on a tree top. That is what she wanted now. My dad knew his duties. He said, "That's all right. You will have what you want, dear. I will start work tonight." So. This Raskin wants that. That is grandma's son. He was knowing what is his duty, being a son, regarding to his mother. What is his duty? He was knowing very well. His duty was to keep his mother happy. He was knowing it very well. So what he did? He said that that's all right. Yes, whatever you will say, I will do that. You will have what you want, dear. So whatever you want. i will provide it to keep you happy he said and i will start work tonight and he said that today itself tonight itself i am going to start the work he said with my expert assistance he soon finished the job so with my expert assistance so assistance here with my expert assistance here a skin bond he also helped his father assistance means helping giving assistance help okay so with my expert assistance with my 
So Ruskin wants uh, Ruskin want he help his father with his expert assistant. He soon finished the chore. His father Ruskin wants father soon finished the chore. Chore means task. Okay, chore means task. So he soon finished that task. What was the task? To build a house, tree top house. Okay, house on a tree top. This was the task. This was the work. Made her a tree house with windows and a door. Door and Ruskin wants father with the assistant with the help of his son. He that is with the help of Ruskin want he made a tree house. Okay, and that tree house it had windows and a door also. There was a door and also also windows in that tree house. So Granny moved up, and now every day I climb to her room with glasses and tree. So now Granny, where is she living now? She moved up. She shifted to that tree house. Now every day, what? I climb to her room with glasses and tree. And now every day, what does Ruskin want to? He climbs with uh, to her room with glasses and tree. He carry the glasses and tree along uh, with the glasses to her room. She sits there in state and drinks a sherry with me. So she, she sits there. Okay. She sits there in a happy mood. Okay. In that happy mood. So happily she sits there and she drinks sherry. So sherry means what? It is a wine. Yellow or brown colored wine. It is a kind of wine. It will be yellow or brown in color. So she drinks sherry. She enjoys it. She is very happy there because she is on a tree. What she wanted, she got, and she is very happy there. And now she drinks. She enjoys the drinks that is sherry. And with me, that is with the poet, upholding her right to reside in a tree. And she upholds, she shows that she clearly makes clear to the world that she has all right, all the right she has to have. She has all the right to stay in a tree. She upholds her right. So this is about the poem. So once again, I will say it. So Ruskin Bond, he says that the grandma, he, she, he is a, she is a genius. Ruskin Bond's grandma is genius. And he and do you know he and he asked, do you know why? Because she can climb the tree. It is high or Spread it high or uh, it has spread it wide or high. So he she likes to climb the tree. She climbs the tree. And last when she climbed the tree, what was her age? Her age was just, her age was 62. She was old lady and her age was 62. And I never since childhood she had this gift and it was, uh, she was taught this uh, a skill to climb the tree from her brother and uh, at that time her age was six years. From six years of age she had started to climb the tree and till today she is climbing. Though her age is 62 she has become old. Still now she likes to climb the tree. She don't like to be in a lift but she likes to be likes to climb the tree. And if and her elders also said her neighbors also say that climbing the tree is bad it's not good so climbing the tree is not at all good but then also she would like laugh and say that okay i will grow disgracefully because i have i have um, i have a great skill in climbing the tree my skill has been improved in climbing the tree and this thing they had to agree the family members of grandma's family members they had to agree because in their garden, there was not a single tree left. Not a single tree had left where grandma has not climbed. Each and every tree she had climbed and not one or two times more than one or two times she had climbed. And very quickly she was, she is able to climb. And, and this family members, they had a fear. As she had grown old and she has become weak, they had a fear that one day or the other day she will fall down from the tree. So once why what happened when they were in town, okay, when they had gone, this uh, grandma's family members, when they had been gone to town, 
what happened this grandma she had climbed the tree and she was not able to get down from the tree and anyhow they found her family members came and they helped her to bring down from the tree they rescued her they saved her and they brought down the down grandma from the tree they called the doctor and doctor he came and he checked grandma's temperature and he said that grandma should take one week of bed rest so as she had become weak she had to stay in her bed she was confined to her she had to stay in her bed and they she felt that as though she is in a hell because she was experiencing from the window she was feeling that experiencing the breeze and the breeze it was coming and the spring and the leaves were dancing she was seeing her feeling all those things and she was missing all these things and that is why she felt that as though she is in a hell and she kept quiet she was she calmly she kept quiet she kept uh, she was patient she kept her patience and till she felt that she is strong and one day what happened when she felt that she had become strong she got up and she said she sat on her bed and she said that she said to her family members that now she is not going to stay here anymore and she called poet's father okay she called poet's father that is the skin bond's father that is grandma's son she called and she said that now i don't want to stay here i want a tree house okay house on a tree top i want so raskin wants father he was knowing his duty he said that um, his duty was to keep his uh, mother happy and he said that yes whatever you want i will provide you he said and he said that now only i will start the work so with the help of raskin bond with the assistance great assistance of raskin bond he started the he started to build the tree house and after completion what uh, that tree house it had windows as well as a door and after that grandma was she did there she went then she started to stay in that tree house and what this raskin bond was doing he was daily he was climbing the tree with the glasses and cherry so sherry it is a kind of drink wine okay so he used to climb and they both used to enjoy that drink and grandma she was she upholded her right to reside in the tree she said that it is my right she showed to that world that now this is the right to be in this tree so this is about the poem and uh, the meanings once again i will go to the meanings so genius means an exceptionally intelligent talented person okay genius means an exceptionally intelligent or talented person who have a different kind of skills okay everyone will be not having the skills so some people they will be having the different they will be very talented person there will be exceptional cases there will be so that is called as genius for example isaac newton was a genius all of us scientists are genius itself so next is in a trice so try in a trice it is a phrase and it means very quickly in a trice means not a tree so in a trice means very quickly climbing the tree is very quickly and next gracefully gracefully means respectfully gracefully means respectfully and terrible terrible means very bad terrible fall that is badly she will fall down terrible means badly and outcome outcome means what actually happened so what actually what they thought what the family members thought they thought that she will have a terrible fall but what actually happened what really happened that is she climbed the tree grandma climbed the tree and she was not able to come down and next is rescue so rescue means save okay the family members they saved the rescued grandma she had climbed the tree and she was not able to come down so they brought her down that is 
they rescued her that is saved her and out uh, one hold one piece means she kept quiet holds one piece means she kept quiet grandma kept quiet she uh, she kept her patience okay so she was uh, there in his uh, in her bedroom she was uh, she had told to take bed rest for one week but she had a habit of climbing the tree she was feeling that uh, she was uh, feeling happy to climb the tree now she is in her bedroom she is taking bed rest now she is feeling that it was a help and she is weak so she held her peace means she was she kept her patience okay she kept quiet and undaunted so undaunted means without hesitation what others think so without hesitation means what other things about us our activities not minding that okay without minding the what other thing what others are thinking about us without caring without hesitation okay so that is called as uh, undaunted without hesitation she said she said what is her son is going to think if i ask so without thinking all those uh, things uh, so the consequences she what she said without any hesitation that is undaunted without hesitation that is undaunted next assistance assistance means help this assistance you people also assist your parents right so girls may assist even if maybe girl or a boy they will assist their mother and father in kitchen work or in some repair works especially in repair works uh, uh, girls as well as boys they assist their father their parents right while uh, while uh, by giving uh, the tools and all providing tools for their parents and all so that is called as assistance help and chore chore means task Okay, work. The task, the task was in this poem. The task is building a house on a tree top. That is a task. And uh, here, sherry. Sherry means a yellow or brown colored wine. Wine is of a yellow or brown color. And next, upholding. Upholding means making clear to the world that it is my right. I have all the right to stay in a tree. Making Uh, what uh, making clearly telling to the society, telling to the world that it is my right. Okay, so this is about the meanings and uh, some uh, literary devices are there. That is uh, poetic devices, literary devices. For, uh, that is uh, simile, personification, alliteration, metaphor. These are for these are all we call as literary devices. So here you can see some uh, three literary devices in your uh, poem. Grandma climbs a tree. So first of all, we will uh, see this uh, alliteration. Okay. So literary devices. So, what is alliteration? So, alliteration means repetition of the same consonant sound in the adjacent or closely connected words. This is called as alliteration. So, alliteration means repetition. of the same consonant sound in the adjacent or close 
closely connected walls. Okay, alliteration means repetition of the same consonant sound in the adjacent or closely connected words. For that we call as alliteration. And here in this poem, you can see the example in the in the second line, that is first stanza, second line, because she could climb trees. So, could climb, ka ga sound, ka ka sound is there, could climb, see here, could, she, could climb. So, we are, ka ka, climb, ka, could climb, ka ka sound is coming. So, one after the next word itself, you can see. Okay, could climb. So this is called as alliteration. And uh, next you can see in the fifth stanza, first line also you can see, but she had held her. Her, her sound is there. Held her. Okay, but she held her. Her, her sound is repeated. So that is also alliteration. So, this is one literary device that is alliteration. Alliteration means repetition of the same consonant sound in the adjacent or closely connected words. Okay. Alliteration means repetition of the same consonant sound. Okay. Keep in mind consonant sound. Repetition of the same consonant sound in the adjacent or closely connected words. For that we call as alliteration. Next is simile. I think you people are very familiar with the with this simile. Simile. What is simile? Simile is a direct comparison of two unlike I, unlike items using like as or or as or as okay like or as so it is a direct comparison between two things comparison of Unlike things using like or as. Okay. Like or as. So it is a comparison. We compare two different things. Okay. With each other. We are going to compare two different things with each other. By using the unlike things, okay, unlike they they are not similar, okay, they are unlike things, two different things, comparing two different things with each other by using the words like like or as we will use like or as by using like or yes as we will compare the two different things for that we call as simile. So here you can see simile in the fourth stanza, fourth line. Okay. Fourth stanza, fourth line, you can see the simile here. It was like a brief season in hell. It was like a brief season in, in hell. So here it refers to what? Staying in room, staying in, or staying in a bed. Okay, taking the bed rest, staying in her, her room, staying on bed. Here it refers to staying on bed. So, staying in a room without going outside, staying on a bed, taking the bed rest. It was like a brief season in health. So, she is comparing that situation. Here, grandma, she is comparing that situation, being in a room, 
okay without climbing the tree without going outside staying in room staying on bed and taking the bed rest she is comparing that situation that moment just like a brief season in hell just like a as though she is in hell she is she is comparing that situation to the situation of hell okay that much she has got irritated so like brief season in hell so this is simile so comparison of two different things a direct comparison of two unlike things you two unlike things which are different things comparison of two different things okay with each other that is called as simile like or as by using like or else as okay next next is a personification so personification what is personification when personification means when a human quality is given to a non living object or inanimate thing that is inanimate thing or non living object or animals a human quality is given okay a human quality is given for inanimate that is non living thing or for animals for that we call as personification personification means when when human qualities are given to inanimate or non living you can say also non living non living objects or animals for that we call as personification personification means when human qualities are given to inanimate or non living objects or animals for that we call as personification so here in this poem a good example for personification is see here in the fourth line fourth line fifth uh, Sorry, fourth uh, stanza, fifth line. You can see here. While every breeze whispered of summer and dancing leaf, every breeze whispered of summer. See here, every breeze. Here, breeze means a cool breeze. That is cool air. So here, breeze. It is a non-living thing, right? Breeze is a non-living thing. Whispered of summer. It is talking about summer. whispered whispered means talking the talking it is a quality of human being so whispering means slowly talking whispering coming near ear and talking slowly okay so here every breeze that is a cool air whispered of summer it is talking about summer so here breeze it has given the human quality breeze is a non living thing it is an inanimate thing and it has given the human quality and the human quality is whispering talking and dancing leaves so dancing it is also what it is also a human quality and that quality is given to the leaves so when the breeze comes when the wind blows what happens the leaves will dance on the trees they will shake so it they have given the quality of dancing the leaves are dancing this is also a personification giving this is the non living things or animals giving the human quality for non living things or animals for that we call as personification clear so this is these are the three uh, literary devices what we have in this poem that is one is alliteration so alliteration means repetition of the same consonant sounds in the uh, in the adjacent or closely connected words it should be in the same line okay it's a, it should be in adjacent or closely connected words 
the words should be closely connected to each other so if we found the consonant sounds there the repetition of the consonant sounds in one or two words uh, in two to three words uh, in that uh, particular line uh, line so we call it as alliteration and simile simile is a direct comparison of two different things unlike things two different things we will take two different things and we will compare with each other so that is called as simile that or as okay it is as slippery as eel we say and we say that it is as costly as gold so as we are using as it is as costly as gold she is like her mother so her the girl character is compared with mother's character she is like her mother so this is called as simile comparison comparison of two different things okay and next is personification personification means giving a human quality for non living thing or animals for inanimate thing or animals for that we call as personification okay so this is about your poem and in this poem uh, they will ask summary okay they will ask summary for uh, four marks or sometimes three marks they will ask summary so how to write summary first write the summary first you have to write the poet about uh, who has written so the grandma climbs a tree it has written by the poet ruskin bond and here ruskin bond in this poem ruskin bond he is talking about the quality a genius quality of his grandmother has a, so he is saying that ruskin bond he is saying that his grandmother was genius and she had a very great skill she was genius and she is he is saying that she could climb the tree it may be spreading or high she can climb on any kind of tree it may be the, the spreading tree or high tree and she could climb very quickly he is saying that she could climb very quickly and he is saying that resting bond he is saying that her grandmother when she lost climb the tree she was just uh, she was 62 years old she was old she was 62 years old and uh, she was very weak at that time she had climbed the tree last she had climbed the tree and she had this gift she is keep on climbing the tree when she was child from her childhood so she is keep on climbing the tree and uh, she is happier climbing the tree than in a lift and as the years went on she uh, so her neighbors her family members they told that now if you have grown up so you have to stop climbing the tree it is not a good thing it is not the respectable thing so you have to grow very respectfully very gracefully you have to grow now because you are growing older now for that your grandma was saying was laughing and she was saying that now i am no i am going to grow disgracefully itself because i can't leave climbing the tree and she was saying that she can do it better she had improved her skill in climbing the tree and she would do it better and all the family members they have to agree it because in their garden there was not a single tree left what she has not climbed and the grandma she had climbed each and every tree which were there in the garden nearly more than 2 to 3 times and she had been up at one time or another so she had been up there one time she was climbing one time or another she had she would climb the tree in day two one to two times she was climbing the tree and she had learned to climb the tree from her loving brother so her brother had me who had taught how to climb the tree when she was just 6 years old and but the family members they had a fear as she had grown old she was already 62 years and she had grown old and uh, her family members they had fear that one day or the other she will fall down because she is she has become old she has become weak one day or the other she will fall down but what happened actually actually what happened she was once she when her family members were in town she climbed the tree and she was not able to come down anyhow her family members rescued her 
and uh, they called doctor doctor he came and checked granny's temperature and he said that she should need she need one week of bed rest so everyone was relieved thinking that nothing bad happened nothing much bad happened and they looked after her tucked up her well means they looked after her and poor granny she was uh, missing her trees climbing the trees and uh, it was just like a as though she is in a hell and uh, she was feeling that the breeze it was telling and coming how beautiful the summer is and how this dance uh, the leaves are dancing but she kept quiet till she felt that she is strong enough now and when she felt that she is strong enough she sat up and she said that now she is not at all going to stay here and then she called her son that is poet's father she called her son and she said that now i don't want to stay here i want a house on a tree top so his father that is the skin bones poet's father he was not knowing his duty he realized his duty and he said that okay as you wish whatever you like i will do that and he started the work night itself that night itself he started the work and with the help of poet he finished the chore the task and made a tree house and the tree house had windows and the door so granny she moved up to the tree house now every day what poet will do he carry glasses and sherry in the tray okay glasses and tray and sits with her granny with his granny and he drinks the sherry with he enjoys sherry so granny she is enjoying her tree house and she is enjoying her and she is upholding her right she says that it is my right now she is showing them to the world that it is her right to stay in her tree house so this is about grandma climbs a tree i hope you people have understood it thank you and have a nice day